All right, guys. That ex just dropped off a package for me. What could it be? Did you have one? It's a rescue box. Let's go through and see what amazing things I hopefully got. All right, so here is the box. This is the 10 pounds fabric DIY. It's $24 plus shipping of $10.99. I had some leftover credit. I think this is the last of my credit. So I'm gonna go ahead and see. These boxes are always, have been profitable for me as I've showed you guys in the past. I do have a thread up playlist that I will attach this one to. This one, if you're ever interested, comes from Phoenix. I've had them from Phoenix, Georgia, Pennsylvania. Um, I don't really notice a difference. Some people say location matters. I don't think there's a huge difference. Okay, so we'll do first impressions. It is topped off with tissue paper that I do reuse. And first impressions, it's decent. It is nicely folded, which is a plus. The last box I got, there were quite a few scarves. Um, I'm trying to think if I sold anything from that lot yet. I just got it all listed this last week as I've been getting quite a few boxes recently. But the cost of goods is between like two to three and a half dollars per item, usually for my boxes. And that's okay with me. And let's go ahead and get started. So first we have, oh, this is a good start. Okay, Rachel, Rachel Roy. Now this is the blue label. I don't think I've seen the blue label before. This will, this may be newer. I will have to do a little bit of research. I believe this is her diffusion line, but it's a really cute classic little black dress. It's a little sheath dress with the fold over neckline. I do like this spaghetti strap. This is knee length. It may actually hit a little bit below the knee and it's, bless you, hon, and it's a size large. So that's wonderful. I could actually wear this. Um, I have a wedding to go to in June, so I may keep this one. It's from summer 2019 and the fabric content is, um, maybe it's not going to tell me, 95% polyester, polyester with 5% spandex. And it said flutter. I don't know what it means by flutter. Maybe that's the collar. So yeah, and I know I'm not really showing it very well. I'm a little close to the camera today, but just a classic little black dress. If I were to list that, I will check comps. I put LBD, little black dress, classic dress, wedding guest, like all those key terms, try to think. And if you just, I just recently posted a video with my sister and um, how we can look up or how buyers look up items more simply because we put so many search terms and descriptive terms that a regular person on the street probably doesn't know unless they're a fashion seller. So, okay, this, I can't, it's like all, oh wait, here we go. All right, so this is a blouse. They do really well with sending dresses and more substantial pieces in these boxes. That's why I like them so much because I don't typically resell tops. Now this one is a 3X, so I am going to list this one, probably just for $15, as long as it's not stained because it is white. So, um, but it's this really pretty chiffon, great for spring. It's a pop over blouse, very flowy with the little balloon sleeve. Um, my sister doesn't like to wear white, but uh, this will look really cute on her, but I got fifteen dollars is what I'll sell that one for. I'm going to make piles. I'll let you guys know my cost of goods, how many total items, all that's up in the corner. And when I edit my videos, I do research on the um, comps, how much an item I think can sell for, or what, excuse me, or what I will list it for. Now this fabric feels very cheap, but it's very colorful, like rainbow. I'm trying to figure out how to pick this one up. Okay, so. Ooh. Uh oh. Okay. Time out. There's a spider. I have to go kill. Hold on. Okay. I never found the spider, but anyways, this is soft surroundings. As I was getting ready to show you, this is an older tag. There is no year on it. It's just a polyester chiffon, but this is max like a floor length. This is a very fun dress. I hope I can find the, um, stock photo because it is very fun very colorful this would be great on a cruise 
or if you just love having a colorful wardrobe. This is a size, oh, they didn't list it because there's no size. Oh no, it is, it's just kind of faded. It's a large, which is another wonderful size. There may be a few minor flaws on it as to why they wouldn't list it unless they just didn't see the size. But upon first inspection, there is a little bit of wear, like I don't know if you can see through the fabric, but there's like a little pull there. But that's all I see. I will list it even if there are flaws because it is so fun and colorful. And that's so cool. Again, I hope I can find the stock photo for that one. All right, so here we have a metallic silver shiny dress by dress barn collection it's a size 10 this is a nice cocktail dress i love the neckline it's kind of giving me like couture vibes with the crossover but like a v-neck this is a sheath dress that is more fit a little bit fitted at the waist again it's a size 10. this is probably more like a y2k based off of the tag. So I will put that in the description. I'll see if there's a, there is, it's just polyester and it does have a style name. But again, I won't put dress board in the title because it's just a department store, but I will sell this based off of the fabric content or not based off of the style and the color silver. All right. This feels like silk. This is a very gorgeous sheer Oh, yay! I love finding Betsy Johnson. Uh, this is Betsy Johnson. This looks to be like a little bit of an older tag. It is an embroidered tag. I thought this was silk, but it's claiming to be polyester. So it's a just a very nice, thin chiffon polyester. Silky feel. Or not silky feel, but you know what I mean. It's like fake silk. That's a nice little duster, very boho oversized, flowy, all of those words I'll try to put in the description. So here we have a red satin button up shirt, long sleeve with some flap pockets, black buttons. This is very um, like business casual, Legents, uh, I think this is just sold at a boutique. It is size two, so it is a smaller size and an older style, dry clean only. And is silk so that's nice a red silk button down again I don't know that I'm going to even put the title or the brand in the title and it's a smaller size but as long as there's no like huge stains on it I will sell that top based off of the fabric okay so this looks like more of a boring piece uh, this looks like a cheap brand SSO feel made in Korea it's a collared, like chalk line striped blouse, flowy, loose, in a navy blue with a three fourth length sleeve. I will look this up, but I will probably send this one back um, if I continue to do partner kits. I'm still kind of feeling it out, and I will give you guys updates as I sent a partner kit uh, for Athleta just last week. So this one. Is going to be the first maybe okay maybe in my business model I don't typically like to list items under like $25-30 uh, it does continue to change as you know as resellers with the economy and everything it's been kind of challenging some days are awesome and some days I'm like oh it's so bad but all right so this is very interesting we have a sheer brown slip dress but it is it goes to this so it's a double layer chiffon uh tan and brown maxi so one goes on top of the other and it was inside out so it took me a hot minute i was trying to find tags it says it says four this is vintage um i'm going to say 90s unless I find any more information. It's got the embroidered side tag, but I do not see a brand. It's kind of a little bit of a stiffer fabric. I'm going to assume polyester. It's got these little neat seams, uh, but just like a broke floral and kind of like a boho, like a neutral boho vibe with this uh, set. 
slip dress, which uh, is pretty popular at the moment. So, all right, staring at stars. This is an extra small cream crochet gold metallic accented tank. Staring at stars, I believe, is Urban Outfitters. I used to pick this brand up, but it would be a really slow move for me. This is a less substantial piece, but we're going into the right season. Not a great size as an extra small. There is a, like, do you see the discolorations on the shell? It's just, oh, that's the metallic that went through um, the top. So as long as this isn't like damaged, I will list this for probably $16. It's also nice when the inventory comes right to your door because as resellers and as a mom, my husband works a full-time job that, and it's an hour away, so he has quite the commute. And so I have to take into consideration a babysitter. I have to pay a babysitter and I have four kids. So depending if it's during the day or not, you know, that's also going to eat into my profits. So this is a brand I haven't heard of, Karma Highway. It is one size. It is like an ombre satin top like with this boho fringe at the bottom it's got like an oriental subtle print on it it's not it's got a little cut out in the back like the v-neck it's like a kimono tunic it's interesting. Again, I don't know the brand, but it feels very cheap. So it'll go on style probably for $15. Otherwise, I'll put all the information up in the corner. This also feels like a very cheap fabric. Yeah, this is Apartment 9, which is sold at Kohl's. And it's just some nice wide leg pants. I will keep these um, because what I, I live in sweatpants. And when I need to go somewhere nicer, these are like a dressier. So I'll keep those and pair it with a simple tank. It's pretty easy to dress that one. So here we have Bordeaux. I have heard of this. Bordeaux, size small. This is a cute leather front knit top with a keyhole back. This is very soft. I'm going to check if it's genuine. It is, I believe, it has, shows the back of the raw leather. Bordeaux, 100% sheepskin. Yeah, it's like butter smooth. And then the back is a rayon spandex blend. And it has this cute little pocket. This is very edgy. I would wear this if it was in my size, but sadly this is a small. And it's um, going to hit like right at the bottom of your waistline. So very cute. I love the style of this top. Nice short sleeve. Not sure comps on Bordeaux. Uh, so I'll put that in the corner. This is a hot wrinkled mess, probably because it's cotton. And I think this is a lower end brand. I could be completely wrong. It's tack, well, it's not tack, but Dowie. Some tags are very deceiving, but based on style, it's a nice bubble gum pink. Very, um, oh my goodness, cottage core. Pin, it's, it would be good uh, with a pinafore dress. Layer it. You put a vest over it. This is, I mean, you could do so many things with this. Very cosplay vibes with the color and cut. This does have pockets. And the back has the nice button detail. I will check the fabric content, but this, oh my gosh. It's going to have to be steamed to even look presentable unless there's a sock photo. I'm just checking on the inside tags and I don't see any. So unfortunately I can't confirm any more information, but I'll look the brand up guys and let you know, but I can sell this based off of style and it's midi to maxi length. Oh, here's a nice dress new with tags. Looks like a larger size. Ooh, perfect. This is a 22 and I think they actually call this Easter dress. Created for Macy's, yeah. It retailed for $69. It says Easter. It's a plus size 22. Nice rose floral with like um, purple and reds and pinks. Nice cut. Again, it's a fit and flare. Has some stretch with the rear zipper. I really like the neckline. 
and it's got it's the wire right here so I think that might give you a little bit help of a push-up for some cleavage but yeah this is really cute not sure there's a little bit of dog hair right there so maybe that's why they didn't list it again it's a white background so there may be a flaw on it I usually spot clean the new tag items so we'll see about that one I'll probably list it for $30 J Jill extra large bread and butter brand I used to pick this up a lot uh, there are two holes in it so that's why they did not list it I usually don't find that many damaged items in these boxes but it is fully disclosed so um, trying to think of a way I could upcycle this. This is a really nice stretch jersey knit, but unfortunately I think I will have to donate that one, which is the first complete, like, no. Out of all these pieces I've showed you, I've got a few more left. This feels very soft. I love the feel of this, like, fake leather, like the wet look. This is, again, a large, and it is just a lower end... Yeah, right here. See, whenever I see these tags, it's like a very cheap, like Shein quality. Um, this is like a knee length, a wet look, but this this is a very um, popular style with a lot of people that like this look. Goth, grunge, I mean, you could style this so many ways. So I will actually sell this. I'll probably list it for $20 and it's a good size. And if not, I can keep it, but I will not wear outside this house. <laughs> It'll be the one that only my husband sees. Okay, so here we have Aeropostale, which is a no. Extra large. I do love this. Like, I'm, I will keep this. Just an oversized boho palm tank. The only issue with that is I can't wear a bra. I mean, look at that. My bra shops would show. I don't know. I'll put that in my maybe for me to keep. So that's two things for me personally. So far, this box has been so-so. Again, I use my credit, so it's not like I'm out money. All right, so this is great. Here's a Zara. Size large. Pull on skirt in this really cute um, floral print yellow and blue. And then at the bottom, it has the blue trim. I do like the cut of this and the waistband with the drawstring. I see why they didn't list it, though. Um, when somebody laundered this, the there was a thread at the waist that wrapped around. So I'll simply cut that. But it looks like there may be a little bit of damage. Maybe I'll look out and this will be a blogger's favorite. But it's like a, um, like a little thin muslin cotton. So that's nice. When I, I don't pick up Zara or find it very often, the newer pieces. And when I do, they sit for at least six months. But then they'll sell for full price on Poshmark. I'm like, oh, that's nice. So I will pick up I will pick up certain pieces if it's a little bit more substantial, like a sweater or a dress or a jacket. So this is a brand I do not know. I think it's um, European, possibly. Kome Ka, I can't even pronounce that. ISM. It is teeny tiny, like like this this looks like a girl's school girl skirt when you have to wear like a uniform and I think it is lined Mama, is that mine? this is not yours honey it would be too big for you but it's just this like plaid dark academia skirt it's lined I was going to check the fabric content it feels more like something that you would wear in cooler weather um, and it's got Asian font like it's a lower end brand but I could see this selling like on Depop for $20. But again, it is, it's got to be a girl's because look, it's got the elastic. So I'll just let this go all the way out and maybe I'll even take out the elastic. Um, because this is something that looks like I may donate unless I can get the waist to stretch more because right now it is like there's just no possible way. Um, maybe if I list this as a women's extra, extra small, put cosplay, grunge, schoolgirl, um, dark academia, all those terms. So maybe I'll just list this one for $20. And they, this all adds up. It's not my typical model. As you guys know, I'm mainly a uh, vintage reseller. But when I have this extra credit, 
and not a enormous dust pile at the moment, I will go ahead and use my credit for these boxes because it's fun and I just want to see if I can strike gold. The last few boxes I've gotten in review have been mediocre in my opinion. Um, when I used to buy these boxes about six months ago, I was finding um, higher end pieces. Even if they have a little bit of damage, I can take them to a seamstress or I can fix them myself. But overall, I am satisfied. My favorite piece out of all of these is probably the Soft Surroundings Colorful Maxi Dress. I just love that one. But let me know in the comments, what was your favorite piece? And I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on my next haul. I'm going shopping later today, huge thrift sale, so I'm excited. I'll have a video for you guys in a few more days. All right, have a great day, guys. Bye.